Hello, I'm Joe McCann, and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program 2. This is episode 12. Today, we are off to Moho again. Um, going to do a little time lapse here, just showing you all of the issues we had just launching and trying to get back to Moho. Um, so yeah, it's going to be pretty quick, and then we'll get into the actual rest of the episode. Okay, it finally looks like we are getting to Moho. Um, if you watched the little intro, you saw that we did a little launch to get back to Moho and try to actually have an encounter, which we do. Um, now that I've correctly set up the way I'm pointing and everything like that, we'll just make sure we're pointing in the right direction still. We have 3,782 Delta V remaining. Um, our last little ship to Moho was pointing in the wrong direction, got all screwed up. Now it's way over here with basically zero Delta V, so oops. Uh, this one is much better. We do have a few alarm clocks set up, which looks like the next one is this ship um, when it changes to the sphere, sphere of influence of Moho. Um, what I think I'm going to do now is try to time warp. Um, let's go to the space center, go back to the tracking center, see if we can time warp closer to Moho. And what am I looking for? A tracking station. Which one are you? This one? Let's check first. Yes. Should be you. You look correct. We're going to control you from here. You're pointed. Do you not have control? What's going on? Hibernate. Control from here. Fully functional. Uh, not sure what's going on. Okay, never mind. I didn't have stability control turned on. So that looked a little different and confused me, but we should be okay. So if we just set this to our target, we should have an encounter. It would help if we had the right vessel. This guy will have an encounter. So let's time warp to here. 344 days. Is that right? 100 days. Uh, 
Um, because we want to get to... Well, we'll time warp anyways. Alright. So default name 14. Change sphere of influence. Which one are you? So Moho is here. Yeah. That's the one we want. So if we come over here, focus, and we go to the map, if we look around, the sun is there, very bright, as expected, because we are much closer. Somewhere around here is Moho, and there we are. So let's just make sure we're controlling from the right spot again. Are we in the Sphere of Influence? I think we are. So let's point retrograde. Once we're pointed in the correct direction, um, we can perform burn right around here. We'll just create a maneuver node just to see how much Delta V it'll take. It's gonna take us a lot. Um, that doesn't seem correct. So maybe we're just going to do a flyby. I think we might be traveling a little bit too quick here. Um, create a maneuver node. We'll try one more time just to take a look. Slow way down. How much does that change? A little bit. Now I know why it's so hard to get to Moho. So you need better stuff. So, from here, I guess what we can do is just try to get as close as possible. I would like to create a maneuver. And can we adjust... It's almost like it's pointing out. Yeah, we're not going to get much. Alright. Well, from here, we'll just collect the science we can. We're not going to... I guess I underestimated how much Delta V you need to get a capture. We probably should have got a little bit closer from our previous burn. Um, but we will get 120 science from this. So we will transmit that. And is it F2? Yes, we'll get a little screenshot of Moho in the background there. And that will send some science back. Is it not sending? Now it is. There we go, 120 science. Um, why don't we control from here? I have one more idea. If we come back out here, let's just go for it. If I move this to here, does that change much? We're getting close. So if we did it here, where is that? Oh, right here. That'll put us really close to the sun, which we don't really want. So let's just go right about there. We'll expend all of this Delta V and then we will decouple and expend the rest of the Delta V in our next stage, our little satellite stage. So stop burn in four minutes. So four minute 30 burn. We will start it at about 2.15 remaining. Let's just quick save. And 
I don't know how much Delta V we actually have. Um, just to give us some extra time with the next stage, let's just start it from here. So we should be... Yeah, we are burning what should be in the correct direction. So we'll see if this adjusts much of anything. It is going to bring us down. So away from up here, we could try to get to Eve. I don't... I mean, we will come in through its orbit, but I don't know if it's lined up correctly. So we'll just use all 2,000 whatever Delta V we have. Can we speed this up? Wrong button. Yes, we can. So we'll bring this way down. And then, once this is out, we'll decouple, send off our satellite. And that, we may be able to get into orbit. So we'll see. Approaching partially out of fuel orbit, decreasing speed. That's okay. So we got 100 delta V remaining. And we'll pop out to here. And then from here, what is this one? So we can get rid of this maneuver and we are going to decouple here. Lack of stellar exposure, that's fine. Um, before we get too far, let's extend antenna and let's also just decouple this. And this is the one we want to try to get, see how much closer we can get to Moho from here. Are we pointed in the correct direction? Control from here, default, yes, it didn't adjust anything. I don't know if we're gonna make it. So yeah, Moho orbit is here. We're currently way out here. This really isn't adjusting much at all. I wonder if I'm even pointing in the right direction. All right, so this one will not make it, which means the other one We'll also probably not make it, because I don't know how much Delta V it actually had, compared to this one. This one was smaller. Um, so we'll take a look. So we'll let that finish. This one's just going to be sitting around the sun, or Kerbal at this point. We'll control this. This one has how much delta V? Um, does it have no control? Oh yeah, control enabled, fully functional. Control from here. Default. So if we're pointing, we should be pointing basically. Point up. We'll point prograde. I didn't put any RCS on here. So that's an issue. Okay. Day in real life for me. Dogs were going crazy yesterday. Couldn't finish this recording. Um, but we are leaving exactly where we left off, and this rover 
has no control whatsoever. I don't think these have gimbling. Oh, they do. So maybe we can point retrograde. It looks like it's moving. Okay, it does have some, but it's very slow and it appears to have stopped. So what I'm gonna do, since these do have gimbling, I'm gonna just try to turn around. I don't remember how much Delta V the other ship satellite had. It's still moving. Um, but we're gonna do our best just to see how close we can get, which isn't gonna be close enough at all. If we did something else, I guess we can see here. If we go 2000, Delta V. Um, this will actually make it. 2100. So that that's nice. If we can get like as close as possible to Moho, will we be able to land? How much would we have left? 800? We can actually land this thing. I'm surprised. So we need to make sure we point in the correct direction which it's slowly moving over I guess there is some reaction somewhere I guess we're using the wheels as reaction control system um, literal reaction wheels so it's basically a 31 second burn so if we start it at 15 seconds or so we could do it a little bit later we may be able to reach Moho, which I did not expect at all. I was thinking this thing would have a better chance because it was smaller and lighter. But I guess since this has two engines, and they're big engines, has more tail to fee, we can actually get to Moho. So, I'm just gonna start the burn when it gets to 15 seconds. This will, with the, the gimbling, will point us in the correct direction. And then once we get right about here, we can just throttle up. And you are not centered. So that's fun. It's gonna take a little bit longer than I thought, but we may be able to, to get there. So let's just do that. The throttle is locked. Okay. Hmm. I guess we'll just keep going in circles like this. We'll see what happens. Um, we'll wait until we're pointing retrograde again. I'm hoping that we're actually pointing in the right direction when we burn. I mean, we are lined up with Moho correctly. We'll see. We're just gonna spin in circles, see what happens. I'm gonna try to turn a little bit. Maybe that will help. I don't think it is, but... Yeah, we're definitely not gonna be able to land. Not with this thing. One day I'll learn how to build ships. is moving. <clears throat> I mean, our orbit is slowing. Very slowly. I'll do the little time warp trick. Um, 
and we're at 200 delta V remaining. So I must be pointing in the wrong direction. Again. Although our orbit was slowing down, so I... maybe not. Well, it was a nice attempt, again. I think we will attempt MOHO at a later date when we have some more research things unlocked. And there goes all of our Delta V. So this guy is stuck in orbit. Go ahead and get rid of that. You're going to escape. And your new orbit will be lower than uh, the satellite you were with, but... <clears throat> or no. Yeah, okay. This one out here. There's so many orbit lines. So, yeah, still still not close enough. Um, but we got closer. Um, let's see the research and development. 579. So we could unlock some more, but maybe when we get to Xenon Propulsion or... I mean, there's stuff in here. Deep space. Ooh. I didn't realize there were more nuclear engines. I haven't really looked at the, the tech tree out here. Nuclear power. That's fun. 10,000 electric charge. Cool. Is that heavy? It's not even heavy. What's out here? Orbital reports. Space trucking. All right. Enough looking around. Um, that is going to do it for today's episode. Next episode, we are definitely making it to Duna. We're going to try to land on Duna at the little waypoint. Um, and hopefully we can get that done. So that is going to do it for today. Thank you all for joining me. Um, if you enjoyed the episode, be sure to hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. And I hope to see you all in the next episode.